السلام علیکم وی آر ارشا آصف علی بھائی یوسف ہمارا ریاض فاطمہ جاوید اینڈ عائشہ زائد پرزینٹ اور بایو کیمسٹری لیب اسائنمنٹ انڈر دا گارجین آف میم شاہانہ وحید اور ٹاپک اس ایکسپیریمنٹ نمبر ٹویلو ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی دی اولڈ اینڈ نیو فیٹ سیمپل ود دی ہیلپ آف ایسڈ نمبر فرسٹلی آئی علی بھائی یوسف گیو اے انٹروڈکشن آف فیٹس ٹرائیگلسرائڈ فیٹی ایسڈ اینڈ وچ فیکٹر افیکٹ دا کوالٹی آف فیٹس so firstly what are fats fats are organic compounds like protein and carbohydrate but they are different in term of structure and properties fats are hydrocarbons as they consist of carbon hydrogen and oxygen fats are also the source of energy like carbohydrate but fat are the secondary source of energy while the carbohydrate are the primary source of energy Fat are substances that help the body to use and store vitamins. It provides more than twice of energy than carbohydrate. The excess energy present in our body is stored in the form of fat in adipose tissue, which is used when needed by the body. In plants, fat is stored in seeds, tissues, endosperm, and embryo. Fat are stored as triglycerides and fatty acids. Some important source of good fats that we eat in our daily life are avocado, almond, sunflower oil, olive oil, peanut and peanut, peanut butter, salmon, cashews, butter, dark chocolate, fatty meat, full fat, yogurt, chia seed. Collectively, nuts, meats and oil are the main sources of fats. Now, what are triglycerides? Triglycerides is basically a glass of lipid. and fats are belong to this class of lipids a triglyceride is a mo- complex molecule we- formed when three fatty acids linked to a glycerol molecule by ester linkage for this ester linkage formation three hydrogen from a glycerol molecule and three hydroxyl ion from three fatty acids are removed as a result three water molecule are formed and glycerol and fatty acid link each other through a ester linkage as triglycerides are good for health but high triglyceride might raise your risk of heart disease and may be a sign of metabolic syndrome as we know that oil and butter both are example of fats but this is a common observation that oil is liquid while butter is solid at room temperature so is there any change in their properties yeah it is this change in the properties of fat and oil is due to the change in bond of fatty acid if fatty acid chain contains single bond it will be solid at room temperature and if it contain double bond it will be liquid at room temperature so as we study in the structure of triglyceride that triglyceride is formed when a glycerol molecule is linked to three fatty acid then we must know that what are fatty acids fatty acids are long chain of hydrocarbon having carboxyl group at one end as you see on the picture that there is a long chain of carbon at at one end of which carboxyl group is attached fatty acids are classified into two types saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids Uh, satur- saturated fatty acids contain single bond throughout the carbon chain while the unsaturated fatty, fatty acid contain double bond along with single bond as you see on the picture at uh, upper one no double bond is present but in in lower one a double bond is present so these are saturated and unsaturated fatty acids fatty acids having one double bond are called monosaturated fatty acids while fatty acids containing more than one double bond are called polyunsaturated fatty acids there is an important fact about saturated and polyunsaturated fatty acid that is saturated fats are not good for health but unsaturated fatty acids are good for health while saturated fats are solid and unsaturated fats are liquid at room temperature now what are essential fatty acids essential fatty acids are those fatty acids that cannot be synthesized within our body so we have to take in through our diet there are two types of essential fatty acids that is omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids these fatty acids are not saturated with hydrogen so they contain double bond and call polyunsaturated fatty acids The source of essential fatty acids are plants and fatty fish origins. 
now what are omega 3 fatty acids as omega 3 the number 3 indicate that that they contain first double bond is located at the third carbon from the methyl end of fatty acids the omega 3 fatty acids obtained from marine source are epa and dha with 20 and 22 carbons while obtained from plants are la with 18 carbons omega 3 fatty acids play a major role in our body as they involve in relaxation and contraction of muscles blood clotting digestion fertility growth cell division and movement of iron in and out of the cell so they are very important for the growth and function of an organism now what are omega-6 fatty acids so omega-6 fatty acids contain first double bond at the six carbon atom from the methyl end they are also very important for the body and the main omega-6 fatty acid required by the body is linolenic acid. It helps to stimulate skin, enhance hair growth, maintain bone health, regulate metabolism and maintain healthy reproductive system. It is obtained from vegetable oil, dairy, meat, grain and cereal. Deficiency of omega-6 fatty acid may cause many disease in an organism including eczema or dry irritated skin, water loss, hair loss, drying eyes, arthritis, high cholesterol and may also damage to the kidney. Now as we discuss the nutritional value and benefits of fats, either they are formed in saturated, unsaturated, omega-3, omega-6 or any other. They are very important for health. But before consuming health, we must have to know that the fats are good in quality or not. There are many environmental factors which affect the quality and stability of fat. Uh, some of them are list below. Uh, in which first one is heating. Heating oil or fat at a high temperature for a long time may denature its composition. Presence of excess moisture in environment also affect the quality of fat. Included that there are many uh, minor components of fats and oil, including free fatty acids, transition metal peroxide, uh, uh, phospholipids, pigment, and antioxidant also denature fat. If excess amount of oxygen is present in environment, then it may also affect the quality of fat. So this is all about short introduction of fat, triglycerides, fatty acids, essential 